Is XRP going to make you a millionaire? Guys, I just bought this $10,000 XRP suit. You know why? Because it only cost me 100 XRP. Well, future XRP it is. As a side note, guys, right now I'm giving away $500. Check the first link down below. It's for BitGet. And make sure, guys, that you press that like button because I need to share some knowledge with you. I've checked the comments section and I've been, I've been, I've been let down by a lot of people here that have this weak hand syndrome and to, to explain to you guys what i mean with that is these people are weak in the mind because they cannot see where we are headed to again reiterate i am telling you right now i have never been as bullish on xrp as i am right right now today right now and I've been reading the comments section and a lot of people thought that my previous video was talking bad about XRP, talking negative. No, all I was explaining to you guys is just how manipulated the price is. And I still believe that. I still believe as of this point, there were so many people were waiting for a dollar per XRP that the moment it only got to 95 cents, a lot of people's hopes just crumbled and a lot of fear erupted. Next to, of course, the fact that the SEC has been pushing their own narrative and we've seen the major institutions push their own narrative with bitcoin obviously bitcoin also fell down and we're not in the bullish of bullish markets everybody seems to understand that this is not peak performance and xrp is still in my own opinion extremely undervalued for one specific reason understand this guys xrp is the first properly regulated crypto matter of fact is the first regulated crypto in the united states Right now, well, it doesn't really change too much, but you have to understand the repercussions of what just happened. You can even extrapolate this to say, with the new decision based on the investment contract clause for these institutional sales, you might even add that XRP now is even more ahead of Ethereum and others on the curve because those literally had so much institutional sale volume that it might wreck their projects even more. But that's on a side tangent. A little bit later in the video, I'm going to talk with you guys more about what exactly is next for XRP. What excites me? What is going to be coming up? So I recommend you guys to put the notification bell on for that video because the earlier you are, sometimes the better, you know, <laughs> you get. And I might give away another bunch of XRP. Right now, as I said, $500 to the first 50 people that sign up. So $10 per person. But if there's a big demand, I will up this to $5 thousand dollars worth of xrp that i give to people today we're talking today only today five thousand dollars i might give away depending on how well this video does i might give away five thousand dollars just check out the first link for bitget script exchange that i use down below and sign up just everything will suit itself there and i was not joking by the way i just bought this suit uh like a couple minutes ago only to talk with you guys about becoming freaking millionaires because as i said before I i've been noticing this 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 change in mindset of where we were a couple weeks ago Everybody was screaming, $10 for XRP, all-time high, this, that, this, that. Guys, I still believe it will happen. Nothing has changed. The only thing that's changed is the time span on this. I personally, and I think a lot of others, had hoped that it would be the moment that we saw a settlement. Now, the settlement, you, you guys can understand this as well, came out to be, yeah, a little bit confusing. Jeremy Hogan and a lot of others explained it clearly to me, but even from those guys' videos, I also extrapolated that the result is a little bit mixed because Ripple did lose on some points. And so I'd like to even argue that there are some bears out there who said that because of all that happened, the price should have actually gone down instead of up. I don't agree with them, but there are people giving out these theories. And the way I see it is right now, XRP just got a little bit more of a, of a boost to the right direction because of finally just some more good news coming up and some exchange releases coming up, people just getting excited. But as you guys saw, back in 2017, and I'm gonna tell you a story because I've been making these crypto videos specifically about XRP as well for so many years in a row. I've been here since 2016 posting crypto videos and since 2017 every single day. So I know when I say, that back in 2017, 2018, the amount of hype that just the Coinbase listing could get was insane. And South Korea pumping those things up was just absolutely massive. But the moment, understand this, this is my own theory, that Coinbase hype was at the highest is also when XRP went towards its all-time high. That was only hope of XRP getting listed onto Coinbase. Did you guys know that the day that Coinbase said, nah, we're not going to list uh, XRP right now, is the day that XRP, the day after basically XRP hits all-time high, that the moment that everything fell down was the day after 
as Coinbase shared that day that they were not going to list XRP. Maybe it's a coincidence, but I think not. From that perspective, if you also look back at when XRP actually got listed on Coinbase, the hype had already faded a little bit. This is again, when XRP originally got listed on Coinbase, here is a, an article, why XRP's price didn't explode after Coinbase listing. And as we can read right here, and this is very prevalent right now, again, the situation applies in a similar fashion. I personally think a lot of this is manipulated from the get-go because there are bigger powers at play, but I've already said that in my previous video. Take a look at this and think about it for just a second, guys. I want you to think about it. First, XRP has been plagued by negative press this year, and as a result, the token has been lagging the broader market all year. This is years back. And also, again, take a look at this. Throughout this entire bear market, this is from 2019, um, news and public developments haven't been able to spark any sort of uptrend. Nothing is moving the markets. I believe the best news is of adoption. And that's again why I want to make a video for you guys explaining the roadmap from here forward. What's about to happen? What makes me so excited and what these different parts are? Because right now the same situation applies as 2019. The, as I said before, when we talked about our XRP price predictions, and I don't want to put up one for you guys here, but let me, let me give you guys a rundown of what I think. When we talked about XP price predictions after settlement, we said it depends on how the win looks. Was it a full-on win? Was it a half-assed win? Was it a loss on most parts? Well, we're in the middle ground here where I personally think this was the best day for XRP ever, but some people like to disagree and it's got the market confused. Second of all, if we take a look at the Bitcoin ETF news, a couple years ago, this would have moved the price by such crazy margins. The idea that BlackRock, the biggest asset managers in the world right now are entering, and the fact that they chose Coinbase, all right? The fact that there are like all these different parts, it would have completely crushed any single hope of you buying Bitcoin at a cheap price. But right now, it's not even moving the market at all. Literally, Bitcoin went down the moment that the SEC acknowledged these ETF, uh, ETFs, spot ETFs. Can you guys imagine that? Can you imagine somebody telling you this from the future back in 2018 or something? That the biggest asset managers in the world would enter and they really want to make sure they can trade Bitcoin and the markets wouldn't really move? Or matter of fact, the markets actually moved down? Nobody would have believed you. Right now, we're in a really crazy market where the prices are so stable in a negative sense where, you know, I, I, a lot of people are telling me, well, we're cr slowly creeping up. No, we're actually slowly dribbling down ever so slightly because I believe the bull market is back. But we're in those lower phases. And maybe it's all because of the halving cycles. Maybe there's so much money at play that wants to see certain crypto prices at certain points in time that they're just not allowing the market makers here, not allowing for the gains to come in just quite yet. But as you can all understand here, we saw massive gains that day, right? We got shut down at a point where I didn't expect to be shut down. The entirety of the crypto market pumped that day. The aqua season was back. And usually this would have blossomed into multiple days of just gains and attention and excitement because the people would be just overzealous but somebody stopped it. I still believe that. But to reflect back to why I was making this video, that does not mean that this won't basically still come up rather soon. What I mean with that is, I still think XRP, because of what they've just set themselves here, is going to be the coin that out of all these will have the most guaranteed millionaires. I'm not guaranteeing you anything. I'm just saying that I think out of all these, the highest probability of having these crazy gains with just not getting screwed by the SEC anymore because they've got through the most difficult part. Not being able to be fudded like crazy anymore because they've got through all that already. There's limited downside potential because what really, think about it, what could get the XRP price to move down? It's only some extra fear here from Bitcoin not breaking towards the upside. Because the moment that Bitcoin right now goes on a bullish tangent, goes and gets exciting again, I think XRP is going to severely outperform. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. I would not be too surprised if within the next 12 months, XRP is trading above $10. I would even, matter of fact, be very surprised if $12 is not seen in the next couple of months. And I would also be surprised if we don't see an all-time high soon. Well, soon, it's quite difficult, right? Because I also expected to see a dollar yesterday or two days ago, I think already. And the reason for that, for the most part, is because, like I said, I expected the powers from the community to be stronger, as nobody could have seen this announcement coming. So there was a no buy the rumors, sell the news. And if there was, you would have seen the price tank immediately after all this. But it didn't. It stayed at 70-something cents. So it stayed at plus 80% gains or so because, well, a lot of people would just prefer to buy XRP right now than before. And these exchanges were listed, etc. But still, there's something just kind of eerie about it. To reflect back upon it, with the amount of utility that now has opened up, right? There's still some questions about which exact parts of RIP are now blocked. But with the amount of utility that is now blocked, uh, opened up and is possible from here, 
the implications of what can be done for XRP, what can come out of this, have now just quintupled, 10,000 folded. So if you were bullish on XRP before, just understand that everything you thought before still counts, but right now we've got the stamp of approval from the SEC. They're not telling you this. They're trying to make you still fearful. And this, guys, this keeps getting me like mentally just in a, in a difficult position. They're telling you that Ripple lost. They're telling you that XRP is in a bad spot, but it's not. It is not. It is in the best spot it's ever been at. I, I don't know how to get this through to people. If you thought that XRP was going to make you a millionaire, I, I think everything has now tripled in sort of in terms of like the probability percentages. And for most people, that's not possible. But you understand my drift. The percentile basically has changed a significant amount. Where if you were 97% sure, right now I'd be 99% sure that things are on a good plane, on a good you know level here, because. Everything's just gotten more exciting. And I, it, it's hard to even imagine here why anybody would be bearish on XRP right now. I don't understand. I can't fathom it. I always thought XP is going to make many millionaires. And right now, I've only gotten more certain. I asked you guys a little while ago, do you think XRP is going to go to 5, 8, 9, or 10,000, all that? That type of stuff I don't want to talk about here. It's not, it's not what we're focused on. We're talking about things that are attainable in, in a matter of a split. Because I still believe the moment the bull run comes back, it would be surprising to me if XRP doesn't hit $15 or even, okay, I'm going to say my own honest expectation is $12 plus, but I'm saying I, I, I would not be too surprised if it hit like $15 or $20 based also partially on the market cap uh, historically with XRP right now. Basically being in a position to overtake a lot of Ethereum. We know Ethereum was manipulated a lot by the SEC and guys in that field and potentially China. We don't have to go too far into that today. But from that perspective, XRP right now is fine. Got the thumbs up. Ethereum is not. But even then, like back in the day, it was a similar situation where XRP was always being flooded. Ethereum was not. Wouldn't it be very logical that right now that XRP got cleared and is the first properly regulated crypto that it gets back some of the dominance that it had in the past? Or would you like to argue that XRP has lost that advantage? Well, then tell me, which exact coin has replaced them? Which cryptocurrency and ecosystem is in a better position right now than the way in which Ripple and the guys that are working on the XP Ledger every single day have built it? I mean, there are a lot of cool crypto projects there with cool and huge partnerships. Don't get it twisted. I'm asking you, which of these projects has done it better and is getting better, but most important of all, is properly regulated, none of them. So which of these has the highest probability of getting the next Bitcoin ETF? <laughs> uh, sorry, the next ETF, the spot ETF. Well, it should be XRP because that's the only properly regulated crypto. Which crypto has the highest probability of getting massive partnerships out there? Well, it has to be the properly regulated crypto, XRP. Which is going to most likely be adopted by all these major institutions or banks, etc. It has to be XRP. Which crypto out of all these has minimum or the least amount of downside potential because it really can't be sued anymore or anything along those fields because it got over that hurt already. You know, it's, it's been a couple years since we got there. The FUD, it's always been FUDed, but right now the only FUD can come from this positive decision that came out. There's no new argument that people can bring up. It's only old ones that we've seen for so much time. I don't know, guys. I don't want to sit here for another hour or two talking about why I'm so extremely excited. And again, please understand, I don't need your petty. I don't need your money. I need nothing from you. Heck, even if you think I am completely wrong here, that's fine. Press the dislike button if you think XRP is not going to make many millionaires. It's fine. I'm just sharing my opinion, and I honestly believe this with the core of my heart, the bottom of my heart. I believe that XRP is going to be one of the best performing assets out there. And right now, yeah, we're in a really strange situation, but it's still cooking up. A lot of the cool things we've been talking about over the past couple years have not changed. They've only gotten better. And again, as I said, my certainty has only increased. You know what? If you want to press the like button, press it. If you want to keep the notification button for the next video, talk about utility, you can. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, guys, I know what I hold, and I think a lot of you guys know it as well. And I, I think that's why I make videos about this every single day, because it gets me out of bed in the morning. You know, it gets me so freaking excited and hyped up knowing what we hold, knowing what we got. And again, I just want to quickly say congratulations for every mother freaking person, all right, that was with us from the start of this whole debacle, or even before that, or during, I guess, that supported the channel or that just was in there talking or discussing all this stuff. You guys are awesome. And screw you to everybody who doubted us. That's one thing. You know, if you had your doubts, they, they would win. That's fine. But I'm talking doubt in our beliefs, you know, because we were motherfucking right. And that's it. See you later.